This weekend for breakfast, it's peanut butter pancakes. So uh, shout out to Alexis. She's really excited about this because she likes peanut butter pancakes. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And uh, first, let's get our ingredients together. So to start off, we're gonna do my basic pancake recipe, which is three quarter cups flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of, oops, haha, <laughs> baking powder, and uh, one half teaspoon of salt. I've whisked together my dry ingredients. Now it's time for the wet ingredients, which start with an egg. Notice the egg is my limiting factor. I can't do less than one egg, so everything is scaled to match that, but it turns out with just one egg, you'll end up with two servings. Perfect for cooking for one. So I add my egg. I add one half cup of milk. I add melted butter that's no longer hot. And I need two, one, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I keep my vanilla extract in a little eyedropper thing. Uh, it lets me control very precisely how much I put in. Each of these is exactly one uh, eighth of a teaspoon. So I'll need four of these to make my batter. So now I whisk everything together and this will come up into a nice loose pancake batter. Um, next up is making it peanut butter. Um, so we're gonna add half a cup of peanut butter to this, which could make things dense. So we're gonna have to lighten that up with actual baking soda, about a quarter teaspoon. Notice that my pancake batter came out pretty thick, so I might need to add just a little bit of milk to loosen that up. I'm gonna add the peanut butter, which will also add thickness. Again, a thick batter could lead to a fluffy pancake, so I'll make that call as I get closer to the stove time. All right, whisking in that peanut butter. Gonna tell you, a two-hand job. Well, that's definitely too thick to work with, so I added just a little bit of milk, and we'll see if that loosens it up. That's the cool thing is you can always balance it out with more flour, more milk as you need to make it the consistency that you want. All right, cooking up these pancakes. Let's see how they come out. First time doing it. Um, a lot of people kind of judge it up. Like, you can use chocolate chips, but or you can use peanut butter chips. You can even take peanut butter and powdered sugar and milk and make a glaze, a peanut butter glaze. All right, I've added some butter, and you could do actually like a, a jelly syrup, uh, make that real quick and then it'd be like a peanut butter and jelly pancake especially with that peanut butter glaze and maybe some real peanut butter chips or peanuts but I'm going to go ahead and use maple and now for the moment of truth peanut butter pancakes maple syrup mm. this is a must do this one totally exceeded my expectations. I'm not a huge peanut butter fan, so I didn't know what to expect, but the, the, the outside is super crunchy and crispy. The inside is super light and fluffy. That thicker batter led to a thicker pancake, so I'm pretty excited about that. Look how thick that is. Really good. And by the way, if you want to use like a instant one, I love this. You just pour water in it, shake it in the jar, and pour out pancakes. You could add peanut butter to this too. You might want to add just a little bit of that baking soda to lighten it up, but otherwise, go the shortcut if you don't want to make them from scratch. Three final thoughts on my pancake experiment. One, the leftovers will go into a toaster and I'll just butter and syrup those in two days. Two, I used crunchy peanut butter. My sister Lisa asked about that. Added a great texture. Creamy would still work. And finally, these were way more filling than a normal pancake.